Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So this is going to be a speed through because um, Emily's recording, my dogs are barking, and I just want to do this. Uh, so here we go. Today we are going to be doing faux alcohol ink to make it look like distress, uh, the distress ink pads. Um, I love doing this. I have other way other videos doing this, but this is what we're going to do today. So. You're going to take some of your alcohol, it could be 70%, I have 91, and you're going to take, I used Folk Art um, Blue Willow and I used Folk Art Sugar Plum, uh, as you're going to see, and what I did was I just put some down on my nonstick mat, of course use, if you don't have a nonstick mat, use, you know, parchment paper, wax paper, or whatever, um, and I'm going to take some water. Plain old water, and I'm going to water that down. Look at that go. And then I'm going to paint right on here. There's no gesso. There's no Mod Podge. There's no anything. I am just wet, wet, wet paper. And there we go. And now I'm going to rinse it off, and I'm going to go in with that plum. And I'm going to do it on the bottom part. And you see, I'm just, I just want that wet on there. And you can see where it mixes a little bit, it kind of, which I'm going to do right now, a little purple, okay? So you get all these fantastic colors. And this is a great way to uh, play around with only a couple color paints to get, you know, a kind of cool look. This is alcohol. Now, I'm pouring some of it on. I don't have my uh, squeezy thing, what's it called, that you, you know, oh, that you give medicine. And I can't think of what it's called, dropper. I just poured it in the lid and I'm just dripping some down because ultimately it's going to give me the look that I want. So you can see I did that. I'm just dripping it down. My colors, uh, I'm showing you now that it's, you know, it's kind of uh, making it separate the paint. It's kind of a faux alcohol look, uh, which I've done before. Um, so now I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Come on, Kel. But you can you see where it's in the middle? It's like got that cool purple color mixing it. I'm playing with my camera because my camera, I, I don't know what's going on with my camera. The lighting, it's very dark outside and dingy. So like my camera will adjust to that um, and then it screws everything up. So as you can see, that's what I'm playing with. So you can see it a little bit better. And you can see it better, I think, in the pink on the bottom. But anyway, here we go. I'm going to take some water. And I'm squirting it on. And I'm going to go in with some more alcohol, pouring it in the lid. Same thing, same, same technique. It's a lot of fun. Just pouring a little bit. I love playing. I love playing. I love making, you know, a different kind of, using items in different ways. Okay, so now I'm putting it away, the alcohol. And I'm going to let it like, I'm going to hold it. I'm going to kind of let it drip. And you see how that's lifting some of that? And with that, when I sprayed that water on, do you see how that kind of made that, it's starting to look distressed? Oh my God, it's so, so good. I hope it's coming across on the camera like it is, uh, you know, in person. Now I'm going to take some folk art yellow. It is podge yellow. I'm just going to do... Uh, the same thing, I'm going to wash off my brush. I'm going to mix that with a lot of water. And this is where the magic begins for me. I'm just going in and tapping. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. Turn it. Tap, tap, tap. And you can see how it plays with all the different colors. You get uh, the, like a green with the blue and an orange with the pink. Okay, and this is three colors. This is just a, like a, a plum, a blue, and a yellow which it could be any pink, you know what I mean? But see how I'm doing? I'm just tapping, not not too much. Now I'm gonna go a little bit more of the alcohol ink. Remember that was watered down. And my page, I squirted with water after. And I love the page just like this, but I'm just gonna pour a little bit more of the alcohol. And then I'm gonna leave it run. Oh, I just love this. I just love this. All right, here we go. Pouring some more alcohol. You have vodka. You can use vodka as well. But again, it could be any 
just go to your local pharmacy or Walmart and pick up the highest. Like I said, I think they mostly come in 70 or 71, but they do have 91 and that's what I like. I'm almost done with it, but I got to get some more and I can't buy it to ship because you just can't do that. <laughs> I don't think I'm allowed to do that. Who knows? Okay. So now I'm going to take my heat gun and what this is going to do is dry that alcohol with that water. And look at the colors blending, how we have green up on top and we have some orange on the bottom and a little bit of yellow peeping through. Oh my God, this came out so good. I can't even stand my life right now. It's so cool. Okay, now what should I do? Now I'm going to take a piece of paper and, you know, see, lift off any of the extra, you know, juiciness of it. And you'll see it's really just alcohol and water that comes up because it does, the alcohol makes that paint dry fast. See, not much, just a little bit of the yellow paint left. Now I'm going to wipe that yellow paint off because I walk around my life with so much paint on me. But look, look how cool it looks. My camera's just not even doing it justice. But can you see how like, I want to touch the screen, like look right there. But you see like the orange and the yellow and the pinks, how it just looks very distressed. Now I'm going to show you something I did prior playing around with. I like to show you guys things that I do. Um, and I'm going to show you what I did with alcohol ink and the blending solution. Um, and what I like to do is what you're going to see that's on there. I, I did just, I did uh, Mod Podge my page with some Mod Podge gloss and I threw some, uh, that's real alcohol ink I used and some alcohol and some of the blending. And this is just white acrylic paint that I'm going to dry my brush and I'm going to just swipe. And what this does is delicious. It kind of separates the white. It gives it a, um, I'll try to remember to put a picture at the end, but it just separates it. And now I'm going in with a paper towel just to get a little bit of texture on that white. Uh, it's so cute. It's, I love it. It came out really good. I'm going to show you, but like I said, I think maybe I'll put a picture if I can get a good one. But you see how that's separated so good? If you guys want to see a video on that, let me know. Uh, down below and I will do that video for you. That's a lot of fun. That's with regular alcohol inks though. So if you don't have alcohol inks, you want to do the main, um, you know, the, the main thing with the paints, water and alcohol. So much fun. I love it. I can't, it, I love playing, but yeah. So and look at that. Oh, it's so distressed and so delicious. And I don't even know. I just want to like lick it and kiss it. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for uh, watching this. And I just love you guys so much. If you want to see more of the distress, you know, playing with the distress, let me know down below. Share me everywhere. If you just found me, click that subscribe button and the notifications next so you can see when I upload. As always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Love you guys. I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.